Games rated E for everyone. You're watching Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Red Sound! It's time to get in the game. So lace them up and put on the pads because we've got your favorite highlights that we're turning into Slime Lives. This is NFL Slime Time. Tick it, tick it, tick it, DJ Slime Time. You know it's Slime Time, Slime, slime Time. Hey, Slime Time, are you ready? This is NFL, 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 slime, NFL slime, slime, slime Time. Bring on the slime. What's up, my football fam? We are officially in Halloween Bowl. So, who's ready for a little scared mixed with some football fun? I'm Nate Burles. Oh, yeah, it's that time of year. Candy corn, pumpkin pie, and my neighbor's really spooky over the top house decorations. It's your boy, Young Dip. Yeah, we all know that guy. Okay, Dill, another fun week of NFL action. So, what are some of your treats from this past weekend? Nate, I'm going back to the best division in football right now, the NFC North, where the Vikings are still undefeated at 5 0. But I have to shout out quarterback Jared Goff and the 4 1 Detroit Lions. Oh, no doubt. Jared Goff has been balling. In the last two games, he's thrown five touchdowns and zero interceptions. And this Sunday, the Lions head to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. Can't wait for that one. Okay, it's time to set up America's favorite game that we call Catch and Count. Hey, yo, Dylan, what are we looking for? Nate, today's Catch and Count is... Rock, paper, scissors! <laughs> oh! And here's how we play, starting with the slime lights, Count how many times you see any of our friends from the hit Nickelodeon show, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Then at the end of the show, after we count down to our MVP, we will give you the catch and count total results. And if your number matches our number, you've won the game. Okay, slime timers, get ready to rock, paper, scissors with us, because here come your slime lives. The Jaguars versus the Bay. Deal. Have you ever been to London? Nope, but I read all about it. Well, allow Bears quarterback Caleb Williams to be your tour guide. On the left is Big Ben. On the right is Parliament. And down the middle is tight end Cole Komet, who gets into the slime zone. That bloke is no joke. Third quarter, Bears up 14-3, and it's time for some tea. Caleb gets the party going, passing the crumpets nine yards to receiver Keenan Allen, who celebrates in the tea zone. Now that's my cup of tea. Nice. And they kept pouring it on. Here's Caleb putting some English on this one, slinging the fish and chips to Allen again. Bears win it. Cheerio, Caleb, your first MVP nominee. Caleb balling across the pump. For sure, Deal. The rookie had his best performance as a pro, going for a career high four TDs. And five zero. The Cardinals at the pack. There was love in the air at Lambeau Field. Oh, boy. Relax, Deal. I mean, Jordan Love was throwing it in the air at Lambeau Field. First quarter, Packers got the first score with the connection of love to Reed. Really? I love to Reed. And Jaden Reed loves catching touchdowns. Now let's turn the page to the second quarter. When love spreads the love to receiver Christian Watson for the 44-yard touchdown. I love a good Lambo leap. Now in the third quarter, Packers up 11. Love asked the question, Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Thou art in the slime zone. That's right. Romeo Dobbs with the 20-yard touchdown grab. Packers win. And Jordan Love has a date on our MVP nominee list. What's not to love about this performance? 
Love was feeling in this one, going for 258 yards and four TDs. Great thing, Jordan. Oh. Terrible. <laughs> uh. The commander's at the ring. In honor of this game in Maryland, welcome to Pride Fest 2024. Let's dig it. Second quarter, Ravens running back Derrick Henry uses his crab legs to get into the crab zone. 10 to 3, Ravens. That is one big king crab. That made the commanders pretty hangry. So they joined the buffet line when quarterback Jaden Daniels passes the crab cake seven yards to his wide receiver, Terry McLaurin. I like blue crab, stone crab, soft shell crab, and touchdown crab. Life is like a box of crabs, Dill. You never know who will score next. And this time, it's Ravens tight end Mark Andrews who paws this one in for the big 13-yard crab grab. Ravens win, and it's all you can eat crab and pad. Oh, yeah. The Buccaneers at the Saints. The Bucks made a visit to the haunted house in New Orleans. You don't want to go in there. <laughs> Chill, deal. These bucks were not scared. And receiver Chris Godwin was not afraid of the dark catching this four-yard touchdown. Boo yeah. In the third quarter, Bucks down three, and it was Godwin again showing no fear. Running past all the ghouls and all the goblins, taking it 55 yards into the spooky slime zone. Got away for the win, and he screams his way off to our MVP nominees. God, one was scary good. No doubt, Dill. Show me the numbers. 11 catches, 125 yards, and two touchdowns. God, one ain't afraid of no ghosts. And those are your salam lies. Caleb, Jordan, and Chris. One of these guys will be getting this. Our Week 5 MVP was Atlanta Falcons quarterback, Captain Kirk Cousins. And he definitely got his. You guys watch Nickelodeon like I did growing up? I watched, uh, Hey Arnold, Rugrats. Kirk, congratulations on your <laughs> Nickelodeon MVP. Read your trophy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Now, that looked like some fun. Okay, still to come. Check out how our Mia B is taking this week's facts to new heights. Then, our Nickelodeon NFL insider Dylan Schefter is delivering a bouquet of fun to Baltimore Ravens star receiver, Safe Flowers. And this award-winning hip-hop artist now has a chance at a slime chain. Who will Glorilla pick this week to try to earn our glorious bling? Then, you'll want to put on your best in this week's OT with Owen Holmes. And stick around and count down with Dora as we reveal our week six and beat, beat. All that and more when NFL Slime Time returns. But first, NFL Slime Time tribute. The state of Maryland is home to two NFL teams. The Baltimore Ravens is one, which is the other team. A, the Commanders, B, the Bills, or C, the Brackets. The answer when we come back. You're soaking up Nickelodeon on Paramount Plus. It's a bird. Those are weak and It's a plane. How does Tom Cruise do this? It's a fish. Yes. A frog? A uh, horse? Dance exclusively in movie theaters Thursday. Ready PG 13. Drop in the Hot Wheel. Drop in to Hot Wheel Skate. So many awesome boards, so you can do the most epic tricks. Hand plan. Grab another board and some shoes and take your tricks to the next level. Over the top fingerboarding, like only Hot Wheels can do it. So many boards to collect, so many wild sets to grind. Drop in to Hot Wheels Skate. Boards and sets sold separately. Available at Walmart. New Lego Star Wars sets. Save the galaxy. Or don't? <laughs> Use the Force. Uh, or I guess, don't. Choose the... 
light side? Choose the dark side. <laughs> ah, choose both. Rebuild the galaxy like never before with Lego Star Wars. Set sold separately. Smart devices and set dressing not included. Monster High School commits secrets. Monster mysteries. Find spectacular surprises. Solve the clues to build the secret heart key. Then unlock and reveal your monster with fierce fashion. Four mystery clues to discover. Monster High's Ultimate Secrets, each sold separately. You're watching Nickelodeon on Paramount Plus. Welcome back to NFL Slime Time. Before the break, we asked you which two NFL teams play their home games in the state of Maryland. The Baltimore Ravens and, if you said A, the Commanders, you got it. A tricky one, Teal. The Ravens play their home games in Baltimore. The Washington Commanders play their home games in Landover, Maryland. The Washington part of their name represents Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Want more fun facts? I sure do, Nate. Here's the fabulous Mia B. Because Mia's got facts. Duh. Thanks, guys. With every touchdown, Commander's wideout Terry McLaurin's fan base is growing but probably not growing as fast as Terry did after his freshman year of high school. By the time he hit the field as a sophomore, he was seven inches taller than he was in the spring. Oh my gosh. Think about it. You know that yellow pencil you use every day at school? That's how fast Terry grew in just three months. Ooh, nice. Now compare that to the crazy size Sandy Cheeks puffed up to in the Saving Bikini Bottom movie. Nah, she has nothing on Terry's size though. I'm Mia B, and those are the facts. Nice job, Mia. This Sunday, Terry and the Commanders are hosting the Carolina Panthers and will try to grow their record to a division-leading 5-1. As for that other team from Maryland, the Baltimore Ravens travel to Tampa, Florida for a duel with the Buccaneers. But before they catch their fight, our Nickelodeon NFL insider Dylan Schefter catches up with star receiver Zay Flowers. I love touchdown celebrations. What is your favorite one that you've ever done? I got to go with the 49ers game, the Grinch, when I was in the presence. I like it. OK. Who would win a 100-yard race, you or Lamar? That's a good <laughs> question. Um, I'm taking me, though. I yeah. do more long distance running, so I'm taking me. OK, so Halloween is a few weeks away. Do you have a costume picked out or no? We got to go win this game, and then I'll tell you what we got. I'll tell you what I'm doing for it. And where would you rank Halloween as a holiday, like out of every single holiday? You know you got to go Christmas. Yes. But for Halloween, probably next, honestly. Then Thanksgiving, uh, New Year's. And since you rank Thanksgiving as number three, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Sweet potato pie. That's my favorite. That's my. That's why I'm mad I can't go back home on Thanksgiving every year. Like, does it, like, UPS it to you? Like, just, like, in no. the mail? You know, I got, like, 10 brothers, four sisters, so it's, it's not really leftovers on Thanksgiving. You must be, like, on your market set, go. And just and yeah, it to yeah. Their whatever left, that's what <laughs> left. And if we sent you a few gallons of Nickelodeon slime, who yeah. would you slime on your team? Isaiah Lighty, Lamar, and Bateman. And would you ever want to get slimed? Like, if they had some and they were going to dump it on, would you be like, yeah? Yeah. Because I've been seeing that since I was a kid, so to get slime from Nickelodeon, that would be great. And in honor of your last name, Flowers, we want to play Is It a Flower or Is It Not a Flower? Okay, first up, we have Snapdragon. That might be a flower. It sounds good, though. It sounds it it sound like a flower. Sneezewort. No, that's not a flower. You're wrong. Is it a flower? Yeah. The next one, Mr. Prickles. No, that's not a flower. Huh? It's a flower? Yeah. Whoa, who's making these names, though? I don't know. <laughs> Yaz Shrewolf. That was wrong two times in a row, so I'm going with it's a flower. It's your name backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you got me good. You got me good. <laughs> Fun one, deal. Okay, it's time to get that jersey on because it's party time! Celebrity pick party time! And here's how we play. Pick a game from the upcoming Week 7 schedule, then select the team that you think is going to win that game. If your team wins, you'll be rocking a slime chain. 
And if your team loses, you'll be rocking some slime. That's okay, because we love slime. Last week, we took on skateboarding royalty, Tony Hawk. So let's take a look back at the week six game pick results and see who's rocking the slime chain. Oh, wow. Everyone's a winner this week. I know someone that's going to be very happy. Okay, new week, new game. And crashing the party this week is superstar hip-hop artist Glorilla. Glorilla's new album, Glorious, is out now. Glorilla's game is the Jets at the Steelers. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl Glorilla, aka Big Glow, and this girl loves a good party. And I'm liking the bling of this line chain. So get one ring for me, because I wrote the black and yellow, and that's my Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's go. Good pick, Glow. Get ready, Mia B. Mia's game is the Patriots taking on the Jets. Wake up early for this battle of the one-win teams in London. The Patriots have given their rookie quarterback, Drake May, the reins. And he'll try to get his first career win at the expense of Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars. My favorite team this week is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Dylan's game, Titans at the bit. The one in four Titans will have their hands full with Josh Allen in the AFC East leading Buffalo Bills who are fresh off a big win over their division rivals, the New York Jets. This one is going to be one-sided. The Buffalo Bills. And then there were two. My game, Eagles at the jump. Now, this is a big-time NFC East showdown. The three and two Eagles are coming off a close win last week over the Browns. As for the two and four Giants, they have lost all three of their home games so far this season and are hoping to change that on Sunday. Okay, Dill, this looks kind of fun. What do we have here? Nate, it's carnival time. And my pick is somewhere in one of these balloons. Well, let's get it popping. Like oh, rotten Whoa. tomatoes. It's not in the tomatoes, but you got to catch up. Mm, I see what you did there, Nate. Pink. Oh. Uh. Aw, man, my pick isn't in here. Yellow. Uh, ear Earwax! Hey, let's go, man. Stop playing around, bro. Oh, my bad. Ah, blue. Fish guts. Oh, ah! Extinct venom. My pick's gotta be in this green one, Nate. Okay. Ha! Oh! Oh! There goes my pick! I'm taking my team to Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, good job, man. Hey, I guess you win a prize. They're all so cute, except for that spider. Oh, Nate, I'm taking the spider. I hate spiders. I know. Nate, your game is Bengals at the Browns. It's an AFC North showdown known as the Battle of Ohio. The Browns are off to a rough start this season and have dropped their last four games. The Bengals are also off to a slow start, but are now two and four after last week's win over the Giants. Okay, Dill, where are my balloons? Nate, your pick right here. Am I right? Yeah, oh. oh, my. Oh, my. My bad. Oh, Whoa! Not my legs. I'd be back here in the butt of the spider. But th that's where they have web. Ah! Nate, strip over the body. Look at his breathing, man. What? Spider on your arm! I think I found it. Here it is! Hey, I'm taking the Cincinnati Bengals! Okay, here's the recap. And don't forget, Slime Timers, you can play along with us at home. Just pick a team and then cheer that team on to victory. Don't move, Slime Timers. When we come back, we'll share how the Raiders are inspiring girls' flag in Las Vegas. And do you want to know who's the Week 6 MVP? You'll be first to know if you stick around and help us count down. I gotta know who's the MVP. Oh, my bad, Nate. I didn't even get on your nose. Slime Time! You're soaking up Nickelodeon on Paramount+. Plus. When the world is torn apart, two brothers must bring it back together, even if it means traveling with a little guy who looks like a pig. Mario and Luigi Brothership, rated E for everyone, only on Nintendo Switch. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Cutie reveal party. So many rainbow cuties. This cuddly Dalmatian reveals a hand the hair. Barbie cutie and color reveal. So 
notebooks each sold separately. You can be anything. From Jurassic World Chaos Theory. It's the Jurassic World all out attack. T Rex with the big chunk. Sold separately. Scan codes with the Jurassic World Play app and play fun games. There once lived four mischievous monsters. They could never be caught. Until trick or treat with Happy Meal Boo Buckets. My puppy's home minis. Build, decorate, and name your pup. Open the door. Wow. My puppy's here. Which adorable puppy will you find? Your new forever best friend. Little Marcus. Each sold separately. Only an idiot would come all the way out here. Hi, Mr. Uh. Plaggy. <laughs> There's a creeper in camp. I can feel it in my tail. I can taste it in your tail. Now streaming. Uh, we're all in danger. The creeps. Creep. Coming. <laughs> Yes. You can't miss Creepaway Camp, a new SpongeBob Halloween special, now streaming on Paramount Plus. Hi. You're watching Nickelodeon on Paramount Plus. Welcome back to NFL Slime Time. This Sunday on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus at noon Eastern, join me and my guys on the NFL today as we get you set for all of the Week 7 action, including a battle of two exceptional young QBs featuring C.J. Stroud and the Texans traveling to Lambeau to face Jordan Love's Packers. Okay, you know what time it is. It's time to play! 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 play. Las Vegas is the city of lights, and it lights up for flags. The Raiders recently hosted their fourth annual Inspire Girls Flag Football All-Star Combine for nearly 250 athletes. The event focused on team play, skill development, and sportsmanship. And check this out. Since its inception four years ago, the program has doubled in size. Way to go, Raiders, and thanks for inspiring us all. There's the whistle. That means we're headed to OT. That's Owen time! Today, we're rating the best player fits of the season. Derrick Henry, the cowboy hat, the shades, the bag. On a scale of five Patrick stars, I'm giving Derrick Henry a thousand out of five. It looks like Devontae Adams is ready for a bikini bottom with that fishing vest he's got on. We're giving him 10,000 out of five Patrick stars. Travis Kelsey with the hat plus suit combo. Yo, the shoes alone make this fit a 5,000 out of five. Patrick Star rating. DJ Moore walking into game day looking like my grandma, but my grandma's got fits. I'm giving you a 1,526 Patrick Stars out of five. Is that Lamar Jackson? The green is giving Plankton Energy a million Patrick Stars out of five. Xavier Worthy, we are not worthy. Best one yet, a million billion quintillion Patrick Stars out of five. Good stuff, Owen. Okay, it's time now to award the ultimate accessory. But first, let's recap the nominees. Here we go! Nominee number one, a back-to-back -back MVP nominee, Chicago Bears rookie quarterback Caleb Williams. Caleb took his rookie show on the road all the way to London, where he dazzled the Brits with a four-touchdown performance. Nominee number two, from the Green Bay Packers quarterback Jordan Love. Jordan also passed for four touchdowns in the Packers' home win over the Cardinals. Nominee number three, from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, wide receiver Chris Godwin. On Sunday, he had 11 receptions for 125 yards and a big win over the Saints. Those are some seriously worthy nominees. Okay, it's time to find out who's taking home this week's MVP. And to help us count down, here's Dora. Hey there, Nate. Hey there, young Dylan. Hi, Dora. What's up, Dora? What an amazing week six. Yeah, it was. Great. Are you ready to help me count down to this week's MVP? Oh, yeah, of course. Good. Let's do this. Drum roll, please. Okay, we got you, Dora. Count down with me. Okay. Three, Three two, two, 
Wow.